Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Morley. I hope you're having a great day. Today we are going to talk about the post that I put on the community tab. It was unexpected as I was going through Twitter and I saw this article. Okay, so in this article, um, it stated that the Pope had made a UN speech and I'm going to see if I can find that speech and I'm going to see if I can't get it and upload it on my channel so you can hear what he said for yourself. But in this speech, he called for all nations <clears throat> to submit to the New World Order and have the United Nations be in charge. And I noticed in one of my comments on my community post, yes, he said New World Order. That was his very words. <clears throat> he definitely said New World Order. Now, China and the Pope are becoming very friendly, very friendly, on October 22nd of this month, this year, they are going to sign another accord. Now, who knew about the accord that they signed back in 2018? This accord went until this year, and basically what it was is the Pope does not condemn China. Even though China has persecuted Christians. Um, China has the worst human rights record on, on earth, but yet the Pope refuses to criticize China. Now, I strongly believe, and I'm sure some of you are going to agree with me, but I strongly believe that the Pope has to, a lot to do with the false prophets. The false prophet will work with the Antichrist. Now, it's, it is very, very interesting that China and the Pope are becoming like buddies. Like, they are literally getting close together. And it's scary. It's scary. Because there are people who depend on the Pope to tell them how to think, what to say, and what to do. And it is scary. Jesus. There is only one way to Jesus. And everybody knows this. Jesus is the only way to heaven. The only way. You have to talk directly to God in prayer, in Jesus' name. There is a lot that is going on, and I'm paying close attention, close attention, because the fact that China and the Pope are becoming like buddies is very concerning. Today, the UN is voting on whether to um, place China, Saudi Arabia, and Cuba on the Human Rights Commission for the UN. That is very concerning, too. I want to say that the UN will have a lot to do with the end times. Because I truly believe that the UN will. I truly believe that we are so close to the rise of the Antichrist that it is not even funny. If you do not know Jesus, call out to him. Surrender your life to him. Time is running out. Everything is going so fast. It's like we've hit a time capsule and it's just went like lightning speed fast. Everything is starting to fall into place. 
the fact that the Pope is pushing the NWO agenda should concern everybody. Because I know not everybody listens to the Pope, but there are people who do listen to the Pope. So, before you make any conclusion about what I just told you, go to God in prayer and allow Him to show you the truth. This concerns me greatly, and it should concern you too. Because I was just scrolling on Twitter early, early this morning because I could not sleep. And I saw that article. And it truly got my attention. So like I said, I'm going to see if I can't find that speech. And I'm going to see if I can't get it to where you can see, you can see and hear him say exactly what the article said. We are in some trying times. We are in some interesting times. And soon and very soon, those clouds are going to part. And God is going to call us off this earth. My question for you, are you ready?